Hi, I'm Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net. Today I want to focus on something with your movement that can help you attack the server on your return to serve or neutralize their serve, and that's your movement and position. So from this position right here, get my nice wide athletic base, and then from this spot I'm going to split forward and I'm going to take a diagonal either direction to return the serve of the server. So I may go here on my forehand side and take a diagonal to cut off that serve and put some pressure on the server, or again from this nice wide athletic base I'm going to split forward or I may take a diagonal on my backhand to help take some time away from the server and really jam that server up with their own serve. That's something that I'd like to see people do more often that they don't do. People tend to move sideways when they return and that's not a mistake that you want to make very often. So now we'll look at a good real world example. We have Samantha Stozer on the near side hitting a second serve return against Kuznetsova on the far side. And the first thing we're going to notice is that diagonal move and Stozer's willingness to get inside the court and move diagonally to the ball to take time away from Kuznetsova so the server feels some pressure on their own serve. So you can see the return here nice and deep. She's able to force Kuznetsova onto her back foot with a return maybe that wasn't that powerful but was positioned really well and uh, the server didn't have much time to react. So from here Kuznetsova makes the air into the net and we'll just look at that one more time. Back to the ready position. Uh, Stozer makes her move inside the court, takes that diagonal move forward, pressures her deep, and then is able to generate the air or force the air from her opponent. I'm Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net. Thanks for watching.